Tell me when you first felt like you got involved in prayer or you really saw that connection between prayer and outreach, prayer and people coming to know Jesus. Great question, Tina. That's a wonderful question. And I'd probably say, honestly, in 1999, I was 19. I'm in a tiny little air conditioned room in Thailand, actually. And I'm gathered there with probably 30 to 40 uh, like university outreach workers in Thailand. And I'm just caught in a moment. And that moment was their prayer time before they'd go out and do their evangelism on, on the university campus. Mm. And they started singing Jesus lover of my soul in Thai, which is an old song. Some of you may or may not have heard it. And I just thought, oh my goodness, I am caught up in a story that is bigger than myself. And that really kind of, I saw in that moment, the rumblings, it was like the, the engine room that produced the passion and the vision in the hearts that then took them onto the university campus to do their outreach. And actually we did this uh, English camp one time when I was living in Bangkok and they had this list and they were very tenacious of heart and they had a list of every student that was coming along to this English camp. Mm. And their desire was that each student one by one would make a decision for Christ. And so <laughs> each night we would pray and we'd say, okay, this one just made a decision. I mean, it was this kind of fierce relationship between prayer and then the next day really being persevering in sharing the gospel message. And so it was almost like the engine room. I was, I was introduced to the engine room of God's heart that produced the burden to really go after souls. It was, it changed my life 20 years ago. So 